Good morning. My name is Mike White. I'm with Vision 33. And today we're going to talk about SAP Business One MRP. We're going to look at it in detail. To start, let's slide in the main menu and let's first take a look at some of the setups for MRP. And this will dictate uh, how your MRP is going to run essentially. So we're going to first jump into an area called General Settings. And in here is a tab labeled Inventory. And then there's a Planning tab. And this tab determines how MRP is going to look at the, uh, the consumption of supply and demand. And um, the Consume Forecast checkbox allows us in MRP to create a forecast that we'll look at in a minute. And this is saying, do you want my actual demand to consume my forecast? And, and this is most often checked. And then we've got a consumption method. And you've got two options here. You've got backward, forward, forward, backward. Now, backward, forward is the most common consumption method. And what this essentially means is that from today, if I run MRP today, that's my timeline. And MRP will first go backwards seven days from today and start the netting of supply and demand. And then it will go forward from that point and uh, again net my supply and demand, um, especially on items that have exceeded lead times. So it'll include those into the, the mix. So it's kind of like a, a buffer, if you will, um, or MRP, so it uh, it won't forget about anything, but it will still consume the um, the forecast uh, backward seven days and then also forward seven days. Uh, so these are all switch selectable. So you can make these setting changes. This is the standard default out of SAP, and again, the most common settings uh, that you would uh, probably use within your MRP system. The second thing we're going to look at is the warehouses. So let's go into administration, setup, and in here is a uh, uh, module for inventory. And then let's look at the warehouses. Now the warehouses have a flag here, a checkbox called Metable. And what this means is when I run MRP by default, it'll automatically include uh, my MRP to look at any of my warehouses that are checked as being nettable. So MRP will consider my main warehouse uh, for both uh, supply and demand. Now, if I uncheck this box, 